we cannot exclude at times that there may be cover-ups by administrators, by uh, people involved in the administration of sport at an international, national level or at government level. And that is why we need also whistleblowers. We need people who can denounce situations so that we can actually try to address these issues at best. A lot of economical interest, and then you have to see doctors who earn a lot of money if they have successful athletes, and they can travel around the world. You have, you have your officials who uh, get, gain more money from, from, from the governments, more financial support for the athletes and for the federations. Uh, you have more TV rights and you have more sponsors. It's a very easy game. We also, unfortunately, have some countries where they actually have the possibility to do the proper work, but where you can say there are regimes, governments who are not really interested in combating doping. Uh, actually, maybe uh, on the other hand, they want to help their athletes uh, cheating, uh, and that's of course a problem, which can only be solved politically uh, on an international scale. The body, that, the only body that has the power to do something about that is actually the International Olympic Committee. Very rarely an athlete is involved alone in doping. The athlete may take the decision to dope at the end of the day and ultimately, but there is often a member of their entourage who is involved. It may be a coach, it may be an administrator, it can be a manager. And that's what we need to fight against to ensure that the environment in which the athletes compete is the right one. But very often the athlete is not the only one being guilty of doping. This will never end, but what, what is necessary is to reduce this problem and this is in the hands of the federations and the hands of the governments and the independent people to look for it.